everyone, Dr. James here, and today we'll explore the little known health condition President John F. Kennedy battled throughout his life. JFK is generally remembered as the young, charismatic, good looking 35th President of the United States. So it's ironic to even think he battled through a chronic medical condition. However, beneath that polished exterior lay a secret diagnosis of Addison's disease. So what exactly is Addison's disease? Well, it's a rare disorder in which the adrenal glands stop working due to an autoimmune condition. Wow. So for some reason, our body's immune cells, the same ones that defend us against viruses and bacteria, they decide to attack our own adrenal glands of our bodies, making them non-functional. We have two adrenal glands and they are located on top of our kidneys. They're responsible for producing two major hormones, cortisol and aldosterone, which regulate essential bodily functions. Without these hormones, the body's response to stress, metabolism, and electrolyte balance can be severely compromised. Now, it's important to remember that during JFK's time, medical privacy was strictly guarded and disclosure of health conditions was not commonplace as it was today. In fact, we now know that JFK's team actually went to great lengths to conceal health issues from the public as to not project any signs of weakness coming from the leader of the free world. So actually the full extent of JFK's struggle with Addison's disease will never be fully known definitively. Nevertheless, let's delve into the three clues that point us towards JFK's battle with Addison's. The third and the final one is a very interesting one that may surprise you, and it's definitely my favorite clue. All right, number one, persistent health issues. So just to recap, the adrenal glands secrete aldosterone in order to raise blood pressure, and they also secrete cortisol to keep you awake. Remember, cortisol is that stress hormone that increases your heart rate, raises blood pressure, and also contributes to weight gain. Obviously, a lot of cortisol is bad for you, but also the lack of it is not good. It's all about balance. Anyways, a lack of these hormones in the body, well, as you guessed, can make you tired and with low blood pressure all the time. We know that throughout his life, JFK suffered from chronic fatigue and low blood pressure, in addition to other health conditions such as weight loss and gastrointestinal problems. Coincidence? I think not. Number two, medications and treatment. Reports from JFK's medical accounts suggest that he was prescribed hydrocortisone and fludrocortisone, medications commonly used to manage Addison's disease. Remember, in Addison's disease, the adrenal glands aren't producing cortisol and aldosterone, and these two medications are used as imitators of these hormones to help replace the low levels of them due to the lack of natural production from the adrenal glands. And number three, the most interesting one of all of them is observing the physical appearance of JFK. You see, JFK was known for having a tan complexion, which was at the time contributed to his love for outdoor activities. However, a characteristic bronze or tan skin tone, also known as hyperpigmentation, is a common symptom of Addison's disease. The reason why is a bit complex, but to put it in simple terms, whenever our brains detect low levels of cortisol throughout the bloodstream, remember cortisol is one of the hormones produced by the adrenal gland, which is not working in this case. Anyways, the low cortisol levels in our bloodstream trigger the brain to release another hormone called ACTH to help wake up the adrenal glands and to get it back to work. Hey, 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 adrenal gland, you're slacking off there. Here's some ACTH to get you back to work. However, since in Addison's disease, the adrenal glands are permanently out of order, no matter how much ACTH you throw at it, it will never be able to produce the hormones it should. So we have a situation where we have a bunch of ACTH just piled up because the brain decided to release it. And obviously the adrenal glands are not cooperating. But the interesting thing is that ACTH also has other functions. One of them being stimulating the melanocytes, which are the same cells of the skin that make us look darker or tan. So with all that ACTH lying around, they mega stimulate our skin cells to give us a more bronze, darker appearance. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. President John F. Kennedy's ability to lead a nation and to inspire millions despite his health battles serves as a testament to his resilience and determination. His legacy goes beyond his medical condition, but acknowledging this aspect of his life adds depth to our understanding of his presidency. Thanks for joining us today and don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe for more interesting medical content. 
And as always, my friends, until next time.